Astros have hit France, Italy, Texas one day after another. If you remember, on 13th of February, I reported about a meteor impact which was predicted by a Hungarian astronomer to hit the Earth in February 13th. And I reported it immediately. I was the first one in the YouTube to report it. And then you saw actually the meteor landing in France and a lot of the samples of it actually was found by the diligent French people. As you can see, they're covered in this crusty material, which we call a fusion crust. And all across France, people were able to collect samples of this meteor, meteorite. And then in Italy, we had the same thing one day after, on the Valentine Day, when the Venus was dry, and you can see the scenes of that, and the canals of the Venus are, um, Venus are dry. We had this huge collection of the meteorites collected from the Italy. This one has hit the tile and broken it. And these are the samples. You can see the black covering on the right and here on the top. Uh, that is fusion crust. It is the entry uh, in the atmosphere causing this burning of the skin of the meteor. And then we had this from the Texas next day, 15th of the February. As you can see, uh, our uh, satellites were able actually to pick up the burst of this meteor, one of the biggest ones, and uh, they draw a map of the, we call it ellipse, uh, scatter ellipse. And all across the, um, you know, the Texas, we were able actually to collect this uh, meteorites. These are practically asteroids. The samples of these asteroids you can see here, again, beautiful fusion crust this one has. It's landed on a soft ground. And then we see all of them, one together, all together, France, Italy, and then Texas, all together. Uh, they are asteroids. The impact in the asteroid belts are very common, so we have fragments. We have done it also. This is a deep impact, and then we had another experiment just recently. As you can see, these impacts create a shard, a huge amount of the meteors uh, or asteroidlets to happen. These asteroids practically stay together or a little bit distant from each other. Some of them with a distance of a few days can be. Some of them are very close like this one. They're almost a binary asteroids. When they get close enough to a planet like Earth, they may actually eventually hit that planet. Like this one that uh, we are showing you now, quite large from this angle of the camera. It can be as tiny as a you know, saucer. And then when they enter the atmosphere of the Earth, they burn and uh, <laughs> they may land. Uh, asteroids have killed the dinosaurs in the past. It gets scientists very excited, actually, when we see such a thing. Because we know that the primordial material of the Earth exists in the chondrules of them, those tiny spherules inside them. And uh, we can study them on the microscope with a lot of, you know, spectroscopy, mass spectroscopy, just understand the uh, composition of the early solar system. So that is important. Also. So we had multiple impacts of asteroids one day after another, and we have to study further to see what was the direction of all of them. There is a possibility that they all were related from the same body of the asteroids. If the meteors that meteorites we have collected show the similarities, we can for certain say that they were related from the same parent body. Let's wait and see.